right, all right, all right. Trigger Man Podcast Episode 10, 2018. So, Happy New Year to anyone and everyone out there. I have two cameras running. I'm mad, mad technologically advanced over here. I got one right here, one right there. This one's the YouTube one, which more more people will watch. And this is <laughs> this has uh, ten people on it. All right, party inception exactly it's almost like i'm talking to people so yeah 2018 here we go i don't i don't think i need these do i need these no i don't need these i'll keep them on that way i can hear myself uh yeah happy new year everyone in the world and all that stuff um wherever you are i just saw on the uh i'm running it live on instagram so maybe i'll do that from now on if it uh works for everybody I just saw some people tuning in from the UK, which is weird. Tuning in? Who the fuck am I? God damn it. Tuning in. Fuck's sake. I'm sitting in my office, talking to myself like a weirdo. To not one, but two cameras. That's... If there was ever a sign of fucking narcissism or anything like that, there it is. Maybe I'll get a third camera to follow me around the house. But uh, yeah, so that was it. What did I do? Uh, 2018 kicks off. It's honestly, I'm not really, I don't fall prey to um, the holidays like that, like so, but I'm sure everyone had fun and where I live here, I could hear lots of noises. Actually, as uh, 2018 rang in, like it was like, 2018, 17, 16, 5, 4, 3, 1, happy new year, yay. Kiss the missus, kiss the cat. Make him wear a funny hat, and the next thing, a car accident happens outside, which was actually, uh, that was kind of funny to be honest. Like it was terrible for obviously whoever got in a car accident, but it wasn't that bad. It was just like a, you could hear two fucking cars just going pow, and oh my god, damn it! So good way to start the new year for them. With me, it was just uh, it involved a, a heating pad on my back because I'm broke up, I'm old, and watching we watched a couple of movies watched the movie stigmata which is fucking great i haven't seen that in one in a million years and we watched uh big keanu reeves man so we watched the one called the devil's advocate again for a millionth time it's so good we're on that weird like religion kick i guess or whatever satan um yeah so we did that and then yeah hung out and just we drank one bottle of wine um at some fucking Ferrero Rocher's, very posh indeed, if you ask me, at least that was, that's posh for me, and, um, yeah, just watch movies, it was fucking great, like, exactly how I wanted to do it, like, there's, there's no, I'm not, not a big party person, like, so, and the more older I get, maybe, I think I've come to realise that I never have been a party person at all, so, even drinking, I haven't been, I got drunk once in the last year, probably year and a bit, year and a half, and it was when uh, Conor McGregor was fighting fucking Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> which is quite funny, Cause I just, and we had, a, if anyone follows me online or anything, like that, I had like a, I, again, not one for parties, but it was in like my house, so I invited over some friends and... I put my like like the the recliner right in front of the TV, and watched Conor McGregor go ten rounds with Floyd Mayweather, one of the greatest boxers in the entire world. And uh, then it was over, and um, my plan was everyone would leave after the fight, because I had like I had I had a uh, cans of Guinness, so I bought like two four packs of Guinness, even though I had no intention of drinking them, um, in case someone else wanted one. And I drank the first four as the fights were happening. And then he lost, obviously, which was sad, but whatever. It was great. What am I saying? It was fucking amazing. What a great accomplishment. Um, and then uh, no one left the fucking house. Like, so I guess that was just the thing for everyone to stay around or something. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not very uh, party etiquette or whatever. I don't know what it was, but I, at least they were good friends. So I didn't really care. And um, But I was kind of sad. <laughs> That's the fucked up part. So I was like sad for someone else making a hundred million dollars by losing a fight. That makes no sense at all. Um, and then I just proceeded to like sit down and laugh and try not to cry and drink the other four cans of Guinness. And then I haven't drank. I don't, I'm not a big drinker, to be honest. I gave it up. Um, gave it up for months and months in 2016. 
um, actually when I met Ashley, like uh, I I, did, well, I hadn't drank in months and months and months, and I still didn't for like the first month or two. Um, mainly because of like I was <clears throat> mental health reasons, I guess, or whatever. Uh, health reasons. Um, I was on and I was on medication for anxiety and depression, and it doesn't work with um doesn't work with alcohol. So you, you the main things you need to do if you are taking like. Here we go again down that fucking rabbit hole. If you if you do take medication for fucking depression or anxiety or anything like that, don't, you shouldn't be drinking. You should be eating healthy and you should try and exercise a little bit, like so, because that's what actually makes everything work for you and your brain gets all happy and you get all happy and all that shit, like so. But yeah, um, and then I, after that, once I started like having a beer or two, maybe I got like kind of drunk once or twice, and then that was it for months and months again. There's Steve making noise. And, um, I, uh, I, yeah, I drank eight cans of Guinness and then another two or three beers of whatever was there. Then like Conor McGregor lost his boxing fight and I had fun though with my friends. So it was cool. Like it wasn't like a sad, depressing thing or anything like that. It was just like, and I'm here with my friends. I'm safe. I'm happy. That was cool. But then I woke up and I was like hung over for three days and I was like, no, I don't, I just, it just the, the hangover isn't worth it even if it means oh you're not going to have a good time which is bullshit like say so i have a good time no matter what i do so i don't really like doing much to be honest like i like most of the time i just like being quiet and alone like that's why actually this is perfect for me podcasting is fucking great for me like i get to like talk and uh get my opinions out even if no one hears them and look most of my opinions are fucking stupid so it's all good no one's fucking right. Let's get that straight for stars. No one's fucking right. No one has it figured out. Nobody knows what the fuck they're talking about. Um, yeah, and mo- the more podcasting I listen to with, like, fucking, whether it be, if it's fighters or old wrestlers or fucking doctors or psychologists or nutritionists or whatever like that, like, so for everything they're saying, there's someone in their field saying the exact opposite, so I don't know anymore, all I know now is what I do now, I do uh, whatever keeps my conscience clear, and whatever makes me happy, that's the main thing, I I just, uh, yeah, and I'm, as long as I know I'm not hurting anyone, and I'm not uh, going out of my way to offend anybody, like if, just for a part, like, I I put on my t-shirt this morning, and I didn't see it, because it was like a black craft one, I'm wearing a black craft shirt, it's really cool. If you can see it on Instagram, it's really cool. It's right there. Uh, if you can't see it on YouTube, it's right there. But I didn't realize on the bottom of it, it says, uh, believe in yourself. And that's all I kind of saw. So, uh, there you go. <sighs> believe in yourself. And I was like, yeah, fucking right, man. New year, Oy, all that shit. Like, so yeah, believe in yourself. I love it. Like, I, I actually really love Blackcraft because of that. Um, it's just a really good company. Like, you can take all the... Look, man, as far as I'm concerned, I know the two owners now. I got to know them really well, Jim and Bobby. Fucking didn't expect them to be that nice. Um, And once I got to talk to them and I met the dog and fucking hung out there with the crew that works there and everything else, like, so... Like, I, I fell I fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. All because the people were real. It was all real. The Satan worshipping, the devil, what, what, no, I, no, there's not, I don't believe in any of that, is it funny, fucking right it is, that's hilarious, if it annoys silly people, stupid fucking people, does that entertain me, yeah, that does entertain me as well, like, you know, you shouldn't be fucking upset about t-shirts, man, like, so that's silly, but yeah, I picked this one this morning, I said, I'll believe in myself, believe in yourself, and then when I put it in, I took a little picture of it, and I posted it, I was like, yeah, this is, like, cool, something positive to share with the world, fuck it, like, you know, believe in yourself, all that shit, and then, uh, it's only when I looked at it earlier, I realized, I was like, oh, fuck, it's like a skeleton holding a cross upside down, <laughs> a bunch of pentagrams, and I was like, oh, <laughs> uh, it's fucking hilarious, and, like, the fucked up part is, someone was going to get upset about that, that's so fucking crazy, like, so, that someone would get upset about that, like, I don't get upset about fucking seeing crosses everywhere, or I live in fucking, like, or in and in around the Hollywood area. There's, like, Scientology churches fucking everywhere. I use the word churches loosely. Scientology churches fucking everywhere. And that's just, a, that's fucking stupid. I'm sorry. Like, that's just dumb as fuck. I actually have friends 
that war in Scientology and they're out of it now, obviously. And they have told me it's fucking stupid. Like it's like it's nothing. Like so, and they, they, unless you have like a lot of money, you're never going to get anywhere in it. It's it's brilliant. W- watch the documentary Going Clear. Fucking great. Watch the just tons of documentaries on YouTube about it, and there's, they're on Netflix and stuff. It's amazing, amazing stuff. Like so, but it's the power of your mind as well. The power that um you can be suckered in so easily to something you can be made believe something and you can made the sad thing is it's like a very predatory fucking thing where like it's just like anything like with, with this this podcast i could like hmm, oh, let me see the trigger man podcast. i could make the trigger man church hmm now what do i have to do oh, i've got to prey on sad lonely depressed people that want to feel included and united and have a sense of community and give them a sense of value and purpose and that's a big thing that i've been realizing over the last few months it's been something i've been telling myself a lot when i see people out in the world i'm staring out in the, out the window i just like to stare at the window it's nice it's like a big tree and fucking looks nice i'm talking to a fucking tree here but my main thing about what's been getting me to stay positive or clear in my head or happier i guess i don't know i know happier is the right word is that realizing like that everyone you see every day everyone you interact with every person you bump into on the street every person driving alongside you in traffic you go to school with college with your work with whatever like that everybody craves a sense of purpose and what i mean is like everybody wants to feel like they're needed here in this world they're they they the that people need them here that they're important and it is and like as much as like, oh, i don't care about that like if you say that you're lying to yourself and the fact that you're still here means you're even lying more to yourself like so it's the reason why it's the fucked up sad reason why people commit suicide as well like so and even just like last month like I, I I don't like I haven't really spoken to this person in a good eight years, but I got a I maybe a month ago, five weeks ago, I got a bunch of messages from my brother and friends and family from home in Ireland where a friend of mine had recently committed suicide. And uh it kind of, I don't wanna sound insensitive. I, I'm trying to word this correctly, like so like was it sad yes did it suck yes or my friends and my family and people like that i cared about upset about it yes but it made sense not because of the person not because of who i knew that person to be years and years ago uh it made sense because of the world we live in um it's it's fucking hard man it's fucking hard and we're like every day i I might have mentioned this before in different podcasts like i get up and i put my two bare feet on the cold ground and i plant them solid and i know when i stand up out of this bed i'm going to be fucking solid i'm going to start my day solid i'm going to be i'm going i'm going no matter what i'm not going to let it get to me i'm going to fucking i'm going to knock this day out of the park and, and i'm going to find a purpose for today and every day, me even like, if you don't know me, you don't know me. It's fine. Like I've definitely had my battles and demons and everything attack me regularly, if not daily. And waking up, not just one day, but all every day, is and thinking like you have no purpose to be here. You have no reason to be here. No one cares about you. Whether or not that's true or not is another thing, but like you feeling that makes it true in your head. Um, it fucks with you. It fucks with you. It fucks with everything. It you don't want to do anything. You don't want to fucking. You don't want to live. It's as simple as that, and it's fucking crazy. Like that. That's the world we live in. But that is the world we live in. And back to like finding a sense of purpose. Finding something to live for finding something to get up for every day like even the other day i got up and i was like i in really bad pain my back's just killing me um don't know what's going on i'm just i'm guess my body's breaking down i'm getting older where but um actually even actually was like take the day off like fucking chill on the couch do whatever you have to do like to get that and i was like but there's no i couldn't find the purpose in that and it was weird so instead i sat there for an hour or two heating pad 
got up and I was like, I'm going to find a project for the day. And I went and like got this, like a desk for free off Craigslist. And I fucking assembled it and fucking painted it and tidied up everywhere and did the room. And then I was in more pain, but it didn't matter. Like it was like, it's my brain. Like I was like, my mind needed a purpose for the day. And it can be as boring as that. Like can be like, I'm going to paint a fucking chair. Or it could be like, I'm going to climb a tree or build a fucking, fucking temple or I'm going to talk to somebody today that I haven't talked in a long time. Like creating a purpose for the day is very, very important. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's sad. Like it makes me fucking really sad and kind of angry that there are people in the world that just um, can't snap out of it. And like, and I'm again, I was one of them. I was just thinking the other day, like as New Year's set in, it's 2018. It's like, oh wait, 2016 had nowhere to live uh luckily enough i had a friend that would uh, borrowed me a car so i borrowed a car every now and again i'd fucking take little naps in that bad boy didn't really have any possessions didn't fucking have any work or money or anything like that but the main thing was, was fucking chronically depressed like and no matter where i like to admit it or not like even the people in my life whether they knew it or not like just chronically depressed and like then I fast forward my brain two years later, what I've overcome, where I am, what I'm doing. I was like, holy shit, man. If this is a movie, because a movie's like an hour and a half, two hours, you're like, oh my God, that's a fucking great story. If that was a movie, you'd be like, if I saw that in two hours, I'd be like, holy shit, man, this guy's a fucking superhero or something. And I, that this guy is me. Like, I'm fucking just a random dude. I'm a normal fucking dude. I got nothing no special traits or skills that no one else fucking has, like, so, um, I, I, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what made it different, like, there is no different, I'm not, no different from you or you on Instagram that's watching or anything like that, um, but I just did it all slowly, I started from scratch again, I, I, I reset my clock, I was like going, you know what, I gotta take myself out of anything that's upsetting me, offending me, fucking making me, feel sad or angry or depressed or whatever like that and I just took myself back and whether it was like taking I didn't take myself off social media I just didn't interact that's all it was it was as simple as that you don't have to take you don't have to be like I need to take myself away from Facebook because it's ruining my life no Facebook is not ruining your life you're fucking stupid stop saying that um all you have to do is unfollow some people or delete some fucking friends I use that term loosely they're not your fucking friends we discussed that in the last podcast they're not your fucking friends um yeah, and just slowly cleaned up my life and slowly did things and like slowly got some work and then slowly found a cheap place to live and slowly started eating better and then I found a cat and then I slowly, I stopped drinking and I, I, I made the conscious decision that, oh, well, you know what, it will help because if a doctor recommends it, it might be medication. Oh, shit, look, I go to a doctor. Oh, shit, look at that. I'm eligible for medication to help me get through the day, even though I know I'm doing the right thing. I feel I'm doing the right thing. All right, I'll slowly start exercising, slowly, blah, 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 blah. Oh, look, I meet a really hot girl. Oh, my God. Oh, she likes me. Oh, shit, look at me. I'm a better person already. Well, maybe she'll like me too. And oh, shit, look, I'm a fucking... Now I'm going out with this person. I'm like, oh, look, my life is getting better. Oh, look, I quit one job to start a business and see how that goes. Take a chance. Fuck it. Like, here we go. Holy crap, it's working out. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Fast forward, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my God, we're doing really well. Oh, man, I should start writing music again. Oh, shit, I can do that, too. I have the talent in me. So does everybody else. Where there's writing music carpentry fucking fixing cars want to go to college do whatever the fuck like oh crap i have it in me i can do this look at me go all right i'll release it oh my god look i'm still in this great relationship oh my god oh my girlfriend's even hotter oh my god because <laughs> i'm getting happier so i'm seeing things better oh my god i think i'll get my own place and start my life with this person and the awesome little cat i have who's sitting under the desk <laughs> Oh, look, I'm getting healthier. Oh, look, I'll change my diet again to try out this new way. Apparently, your diet affects your mental health. Oh, look, it works. Who fucking knew? Oh, my God. That was a long common sense rambling part right there, but that's what it was, man. 
just slowly fucking doing things like so i think when we watch movies and stuff it doesn't do it justice like so but like that's life takes years man takes fucking years and uh, it's actually taken me years to feel in any way good or this good and i actually feel pretty good which is weird like and i still have such a long way to go and i've achieved so much and i've had so many successes over the last say two years alone but it's taken so long and so it was like it's been painstaking and not without failing and for some stupid reason in my head as much as the dark side is saying like so give up fucking stay in bed who gives a shit like so fuck everybody funnily enough the bright side of my brain is like no get up do it no matter what still fuck everybody (laughs) do it your own way get yourself happy you'll see all the things coming into your life because of it I truly believe that now, like, I'm not out to impress anybody, don't really care, the people that, even one of my neighbours came over, like, he was the drummer in one of my bands years ago, and, um, I was like, no one's allowed in my house unless I invite him, because this is my, now this is my happy place, this is my safe place, this is where everything is pure and clean, and I've created it for myself, so, just don't ever come knocking on my fucking door unless I ask you to come over. Otherwise, you're not getting in. Like, because this is my place. This is like I've created this for myself, my life, my work, the the band I've created. A trigger within, in case you didn't know. Um, EP available now on iTunes and Amazon. Um, I did it all myself. Holy shit! Check me out. Like, and there's no harm in fucking patting myself on the back for that. That's fucking amazing. And I and the weirdest thing is when you get into that mind frame of like accomplishing things or trying things, trying goals and failing and trying something else and failing and trying something else and oh shit, I nearly got it. You'll be weirdly attracting those type of people as well into your life. Like now I know like that the closest friends I have, they just push me along. They're like, yeah man, go do it, fuck it. Like who cares, do it, do it, do it, do it. And the more successes I had, the more successes I, I I felt around me with other people in relationships friendships just life like even as I said going to Starbucks like just the general attitude of myself attracted the general attitude I was given out like which was all right I'm gonna put my feet in the ground I'm gonna have a good day I'm gonna kick ass today I'm gonna be positive I'm gonna be something blah 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 I'm going to believe in myself yourself whatever whatever the t-shirt says with the skeleton, the upside down fucking cross on it, and pentagrams, whatever, don't care, whatever gets me through the day that makes me fucking happy, like, so, whether it's, again, getting up in the morning, finding a t-shirt that makes me feel good, fucking washing my face, put on a bit of fucking guy liner, you know what I mean, huh, huh, I make this shit look good, that's what's up, fuck all you people that don't like guy liner, <laughs> I don't even know what one it is. It's black. There you go. Put on a pair of fucking jeans. Tie my hair back. Let my hair down. Don't give a fuck. I have no hair. I'm bald. Whatever. Shine your fucking head. Who cares? Whatever makes you feel good, man. Brush your teeth. Walk out that door like you fucking own the place. And it's odd that you'll attract that. And like I'm tested all the time. Like so I, like every day there's a reason to be angry and there's a reason to get mad and depressed and sad and blah, 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 blah. But like trying to not succumb to it. Like not, don't give in. Don't fucking do it, man. It's just, it's fucking, that's the hard part. Like so, because it's so easy getting a funk and it's so easy feel fragile and afraid and broken. And it's, it's a weird, weird fucking world we live in. Um, But you can do it. That's the best thing. And just like I said, like even if it's the Black Craft lads, I don't know, like I would have never met them if I didn't, do all these chain of events i would have never met my girlfriend if i didn't do all these chain of events i would have never found steve who's still sitting down there the little cat if i didn't practice these chain of events i was i've been given all these great fucking things like uh opportunities and just like uh and i created them all for myself not without help like people have helped me through the years of course they have that's how it works we all we work together and you you attract people that want to help as well which is which is the great thing but it's all achievable it's all trust me fucking trust me man if you're looking here you're looking there you're listening somewhere 
take it from one giant fucking depressed, anxious ridden fucking loser. That was me. That isn't me now. And I'll joke about, oh, I'm a big loser. Ha ha ha. Only because I won't go out and get wasted or do drugs with people or whatever. I just have no interest. I'm a big loser. I know. Oh, I'm not cool enough to do drugs. Um, you do whatever the fuck you want. Just if you're doing drugs, you're not my friend and we're not hanging out. It's as simple as that. Like so, And that might sound fucking terrible. How come? Why am I not? No, look, you do whatever you want. I just don't want to be intoxicated with your shittiness and like... Nothing positive comes from doing drugs. Nothing positive comes from going out all the time and getting wasted. It's just, these are fucking facts. It's as simple as that. Like so, And I don't want to be involved in anything that might drain me of something good. So if sitting alone in a room, looking out a window, talking to a fucking tree with two cameras on me, drinking coffee on my Batman mug, keeps me happy and positive and my mind frame is good and gives me a sense of purpose... That's what I'm going to do, bro. So, fuck you if you don't like it. And I don't care if you do like it either. So, that's the that's my... It's not even a problem. Like, you come to a sense of... Like, it is reality for me now that, like, nothing, no one, anything, just not... It doesn't matter if anyone agrees with you, disagrees with you wants to be a, a fucking, like, treat you like you're a, a lord and savior, and he's, oh, I need to follow everything you're saying. Don't fucking do that. Don't ever fucking do that to me, especially I'll fucking kill you. Don't do that. Like, that's stupid. Like, find your own fucking path. And then, like, when you're walking down your path and you're figuring it all out, you'll see other people that are inspiring and, like, wonderful and are saying different things, and you'll be like, oh, I'm attracted to those people because they're that's what I'm putting out in the world now, and just like I said in the last podcast, it's as bad as me saying Joe Rogan's my best friend. He's not. Doesn't fucking know who I am. Doesn't care who I am. He's got his whole life going, but he's doing his thing where he's putting out good things in the world and he's attracting in good things. And then I see it. Millions of other, the two million people that subscribe to his fucking YouTube channel see it. Like Some people agree with it. Some people don't. Who gives a shit? Doesn't change his fucking life. Doesn't change the way he sleeps at night. Doesn't matter. None of it matters. And that's the part I've been realizing. I was like, holy shit, man. Me getting happy and me drawing in all this good energy and the people I'm getting. Opportunities or just jobs or music or fucking whatever it is. Just general love without sounding like a fucking big stupid hippie. I did it. I did it by myself. Like I did it because that's what I'm trying. And I'm trying. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm succeeding. I'm just trying to put that out in the world. I'm trying to be positive. I'm trying to find outlets for me to vent my rage and my anger. And it's working, man. It's working. I talked about that, whether it's like music or exercise or uh, art or some kind of craft or fucking archery or you like swimming with fucking whales or something like that. Whatever the fuck gets you going, like whatever creates that mental release for you, that's important. Find something. Purpose. Find a fucking purpose. Um, I just listened to an, like a Jamie Jasta podcast, the guy from Hatebreed, the Jasta podcast. And he's like, the guys that go to shows and are just there to fight people in the mosh pit. Like, so while well, you're doing it wrong. And they know they're doing it wrong as well. They're venting their anger wrong. It's like, go join a fucking MMA gym, as he said. You'll be humbled quickly. That just sticks with me, like what he said. Like, you'll be humbled quickly. Find the right way to vent your your angers, your sadness, your happiness. Find the right ways. Like, so you're not... But again, as long as you're not blatantly offending people or fucking hurting anyone, like, then go nuts. Like, so if people get offended in the process of you doing it, like, just like the silly shirt I'm wearing, or me saying, you're a cunt, I'm like, oh, I'm offended by that word, well, you're a fucking idiot, shut up, I don't care, I'm not gonna invent a language, so you're fucking comfortable, like, so, this is the way I speak, you don't like it, <whistles> jog on, see you later, yeah, definitely, like, again, it has nothing to do with the new year, but there's, like, a new day every day, and, it's there for you to fucking just kick ass with. Like, so, or don't, like, prepare yourself. Like, I did it, again, years ago. I remember when I knew I was going to try and get all my shit together. 
and it took a couple of weeks, but I was like, I, I said it to myself, I was like, right, I'm going to spend the next couple of weeks fucking trying to do this. Um, trying to fucking just get my shit together and I'm going to build it up to a point where I'm going to be able to go go out the door and take the first steps towards like, all right, I'm doing this the right way. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to a doctor. I'm going to talk to therapists if I need to. I'm going to change my diet. I'm going to fucking exercise more. I'm going to work harder. I'm going to whatever. But like I gave myself a time as well. Like so if I needed a week or if I needed two weeks or I needed something, I just needed time to fucking get myself there. Like so so I'm not no one's saying, oh, it's 2018, January 1st. Well, it's January 3rd now, but whatever, January 1st, you have to change your entire life. Go. 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 What are you doing? Go. No, it doesn't work like that. Whereas January 1st rolls around and you can look at yourself and go, all right, this year, good time frame right there. I think so. This year, I'm going to do something for myself. I'm going to change myself somehow, some way for the better, like not the worse. And just write it down, man. Write out what you want to change. Write out how you want to change. Write out what you want to do. Write out goals, you know? That's all it is, man. Like, or fucking keep them in your head. Like, I've repeated shit so many times to myself now. It's just in my head. Like, so I've tattooed it on my stomach. Um, my jiggly stomach. Um, I have the routine. As I said, I get out of bed every morning, plant my feet on the ground, and just give myself that quick little kind of, come on, fucking, you can do this. You can fucking do this. Get up. Get to that fucking coffee maker. <laughs> get that day going. You know? So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what, that's the start of the new year for me. And yeah, again, 30 fucking minutes. God damn it. I gotta stop. Dude, rambling's easy. Just gotta give me some coffee. Anyway, look, it's, I'm going to stop. I'm going to try to keep this one to like 30 minutes or something like that. Let's see how the computer's going here. We're still recording. We're still going. It's still a new day. It's still early. There's still lots to be done. Um, I don't have any news, but with yeah, I'm going to start bringing in guests again. I feel comfortable. Uh, I just feel comfortable. I think there's like a few people that I've met over the last year that I want to bring in to my little domain who I will invite. Otherwise you're not getting in. Um, so my phone's getting blown up with scams, man. Scam likely calls. Sorry. Keep getting random phone calls. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get like, so actually one of the guests uh, I'm going to bring in, they're going to be like friends of mine or people that I know or have met or some someone that I just want to have a chat with or someone that I've learned uh, a bit off or someone that I just want to like fucking make fun of and have them make fun of me or something like that. Like be, be cool, like, you know? So one of the guests I'm bringing in is a guy that's actually been helping me the last year with the band stuff. Um, since I started to like I remember it all like a trigger within all started over a pint of Guinness and some fucking french fries that uh, me and Ashley were sitting in I still believe oh she said it was a, a TGI Fridays or something like over a year ago or whatever and I was just slowly getting my shit together and she's like you can do this by yourself do it do it all by yourself do everything by yourself and I was like fuck it I will here I go, and I did, I did it all by myself, but as I said, not without the help of people along the way, like, like Matt, who is one of my best friends, and my producers, and keyboard players, and, um, what the, one of the other guys was, uh, Andre Giovanni, who, um, runs this little company, or the, again, not to fucking belittle it by saying little, but it's like a, he's a young entrepreneur, so he's a young, young, young guy in his 20s, and he started, um, a thing called Tribe Artist Agency and he's actually the one that if you have bought the Trigger Within stuff online and you got a package in the mail from the GoFundMe which you probably uh, donated to you got it from him and the warehouse there and what he's building and everything like that and he's he helped me with all the art getting it all together and all the shirts and getting all the CDs out and stickers and fucking posters he took the photo for the poster if anyone got one I have it here somewhere I should should I frame a picture of myself? Maybe I will. Um, yeah, fuck that, actually. It was an accomplishment. Fucking right, I will. Fuck anyone. God damn it. Fucking stupid. I'm swearing so much. Don't care. Yeah, I'm going to celebrate my 
goddamn achievement. Like, so I, I did this myself. I'm going to frame a fucking picture of myself. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it right there and stare at myself and be like, that guy, that fucking guy. Um, yeah, so he's going to come on, um, but he's just a nice guy. Like, he's like very, he's a, he's a, he's a chatty fucker. So, um, that, that'll be fun. And then, um, I text my friend TJ last night cause I just love talking to him. So he was on, uh, one of the older episodes I put out earlier this year. Um, uh, he's just, a, I love talking to him. Anytime we hang out, we get into these mad conversations and, I'm like, God damn, I wish I recorded that. Like, so he's just a great dude. One of my favorite people I've met here. Um, just down to earth, like just singer fucking, uh, I, I, uh, choral or helped him. Right. He had most of it, the work done, to be honest. Uh, one of his songs and one of the albums he's bringing out for the band called the elite, E L I T E, the elite. And, uh, yeah, I helped co write one of the songs there. It was fucking great, man. Great voice as well. Um, yeah, so he's gonna come on, we're gonna have fun, just fucking talk to people, I don't know, I don't know who else I'm gonna have on, or if anyone's even interested in coming on, like, you can always tag him in the Instagram posts and stuff like that, if you ever think anyone cool or cool, <laughs> popular, famous, I don't know what the fuck that means either, like, so, um, tag him, put him in, tag him in, in the comments and the pictures and stuff like that. Tell him you should go on this guy's fucking podcast. And then I'll be like, nah, you're not welcome. Get the fuck out of my house. Um, yeah, that's just who I am. But yeah, whatever. 2018. Fuck it. I'm going to try to do this as much as possible. I might knock fucking three podcasts out this weekend. I'll do whatever I want. I don't care. I'm the master of my own domain. Uh, I believe in myself, as the shirt says, which you're going to get on Blackcraft. Blackcraft cult.com i believe they have tons and tons of shirts so uh yeah i'll leave it at that it's been too long i'm gonna drink more coffee this one's gone cold i'm gonna reheat this don't ever waste coffee more coffee uh yeah i'll see you on the flip side thanks for tuning in on the fucking um the instagrams here maybe if you guys are cool with this no maybe i don't know we can do this all the time. I don't know who's going to watch. The 10 people that are watching. Yep, to all the coffee. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, there we go. Ding! We can do this all the time. And if you miss it, obviously just go to the YouTube channel. It's the Trigger Man Podcast. Subscribe to the channel so you get the little email to say Jimmy is fucking being stupid again and ranting and raving on his fucking channel. Um, and yeah, I'll post it everywhere and all that shit. And whoever listens, listens. Whoever doesn't, doesn't. I feel better for doing it. That feels kind of cool. The tree is wonderful. Steve says, what's up? Meow. No. No, he doesn't say anything. He says, fuck off. Uh, I'm Jimmy Trigger. This is the Trigger Man Podcast. Peace. Move, motherfucker. Get out of my way.